This is Angela with Applied Technology Group, also known as ATG USA. I'm on the technical support team here, and today I'd like to show you how to do a repair of AutoCAD and just about any other Autodesk software as well. Uh, repair is one of the first steps that we do if AutoCAD has started behaving in unexpected ways, such as throwing frequent error messages or performance issues would be two really good examples. So to get started with the repair, uh, you can either go to the control panel and get in to uh, programs and features or add remove programs, or what I like to do is just type in programs into the Windows Cortana search that's in the taskbar. So when you find programs and features or apps and features or add or remove programs, go ahead and click any one of those. They'll all get you in. It just depends on which operating system you're using. So once you get into this window, find the product and version that you wish to repair and click it. If you have a button that says modify or change, go ahead and click on that. Oftentimes I've noticed those are grayed out and you can't click those. So if you uh, just have the uninstall button, you can click on that and then click it a second time and that's going to pop up the repair wizard. Um, if you get a pop up from Windows, asking if it's okay to make changes to your computer. Go ahead and say yes to that. Then just click on repair or reinstall here at the bottom. You'll notice repair is selected by default. If it's not for some reason, you can go ahead and click on it. And then just click repair one more time here at the bottom. Then you'll see the progress bar here, letting you know what the status is. It only takes a second to run this repair process. And when it's done, you'll get a button that says finish. And so once it's done, we'll click finish and then we can open AutoCAD and hopefully that will have resolved the issue. So here we go. It says we've successfully repaired the product AutoCAD 2020. So I'll just hit finish. And that is literally all you have to do to repair Autodesk software. Thank you for watching.